Hey Taos, it's reporter Jesse Moya with a sneak peek on what you can expect in this week's Taos News. Reporter Cody Hooks has a wrap up on news briefs from around Taos County and the region, from the most recent news on the drought here in New Mexico, to the unfortunate announcement that the county won't be converting part of the juvenile detention center into a treatment facility for young people anytime soon. This week's lifestyle pages focus on health and fitness. Cindy Brown brings us two stories, one on traditional healer Tonita Gonzalez and another about the latest book by retired local physician Robert Silver about his life with Parkinson's disease. Don't miss this week's look back at Taos history with a step down memory lane to the day a World War I veteran finally got his medals, a guy convicted of swindling a dozen Taosenos out of their hard-earned cash and their first biomass burner at Taos Pueblo. This week, Tempo outlines the wide variety of St. Patrick's Day all over the county. Just remember, be safe and don't drink and drive. In addition, we're also covering the Sight Unseen show at the TCA, which features artwork whose makers you won't know until you buy it. There's also the 30th anniversary of the Milagro Beanfield War movie, the Star Tribe Equinox Dance Party in Kit Carson Park, the Jaw Kings at Kate House, and the debut of our new book review column called Pages. It's all there, plus a movie review of A Wrinkle in Time. Taos Woman, our special section celebrating and honoring Taosenas, is in this week's Taos News. Don't miss it. In schools, Quest Independent Schools Board has placed their superintendent on paid administrative leave until further notice. The district has hired an interim superintendent, but has not said whether or not the position will be filled permanently by the current replacement. In sports, the Penasco Lady Panthers basketball team make a deep run into the state playoffs and bring home their third red trophy. Taos Tigers also made it to the postseason classic, but lost in their quarterfinal game to Moriarty. Also in this week's edition of the Taos News, look for a preview of Taos Tiger Spring Sports. Also, stay tuned for our coverage of the student march against gun violence happening on the plaza. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's preview. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to pick up your copy of this week's Taos News.